All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Big kick. Nice punch there by Whitaker. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, a straight right. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Break it. Break it. Oh! He's going to turn on the elbow and he's going to chase the submission finish. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Final seconds of round one. One shot for the end of round one. Round two underway. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Straight punch land. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Robert Whitaker. Nice single collar tie now. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, nice right hand. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice straight punch. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Massive right hand. Good right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Oh. oh. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. 
Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling should really be entertaining. The ground and pound has been there all night. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there absolutely. Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Two rounds in the books. Watch right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed. Focus, okay? Focus on slowing that I know you're not tired. I know you have more in that game. Are uh, you ready? You ready? Third round underway. Big and kick. Got clip with the right hand. All right, he engages in a single follow tie here. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this run, and there's another one, so he continues to slow. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. softened it up to that Bobby Knuckles moniker. I mean, they print the shirts. It's a great nickname. I don't know why he fought it. It's a fantastic nickname, and it fits him to a T. Bobby Knuckles, we all love, we all love that nickname, but... All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Great punch. This fight's gonna be over, PC. What a great way of making Absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotis called a stop to this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Robert Whitaker. Well, there will be no shutting out.